Lucio Labs started about eight years ago out of Sydney in Australia. Uh, we have grown out of Australia and re headquartered ourselves to the UK in London. We have an office in London now. Uh, a large part of the team and the engineering is still based out of the APAC region, out of Sydney. We're probably close to about 100 people now. Uh, we have raised uh, two rounds. We've just raised the Series B, and we're currently expanding not only the UK and Europe, but also into the US. And we've just hired our first two employees in both New York and uh, San Francisco. So we are an automated ID or identity verification platform that helps businesses to stop fraud. Uh, so our vision is to help every user possible to use their ID, a verified ID, in the country that they live and be able to go through an identification process with whichever business or government that they choose to do that with in a safe, secure and frictionless way. And we also help businesses to make sure that they stop fraud and bad actors don't take their business for money or commit crimes against them or their users. So financial services, obviously, times have been tough, I guess, and you know, spammers and hackers are increasing in all sectors, and particularly in financial services. And it's very important for two aspects. The one aspect is to obviously prevent fraud, uh, and the other one is to make sure that you understand and know your customer. So what's happened in financial services is it's been driven by uh, a law called AML, anti-money laundering. But of course, KYC, which is Know Your Customer, has increased in its need across more services across the world so that people can access these services safely and securely. So the financial services sector is growing. We're seeing proliferation of open banking, for example, crypto, uh, which is you know, uh, more of a risk asset now. And it's important that people, when they're buying these assets or interacting with these institutions, uh, feel safe and, are, and those businesses are complying with the law and the regulation in their country. So it's important to see that innovation and to make sure you can cover that. What we're also seeing is um, there are a lot of global businesses out of particular regions. And so we're seeing more and more international people coming to want to access those services. So it used to be more localized and you just needed to understand the identities of people that lived in your country. But with an international audience and with uh, online increasing and access to services online, we're seeing more and more people needing to be verified. And our system essentially allows over 16,000 identity documents across the world to be used uh, and verified, and we understand them to allow those people who are behind those identity documents to access those services. So we can help those banks and those other businesses that we support, other financial businesses and other uh, industries, to be able to safely and securely let anybody in the world, regardless of race or gender or, or nationality, to be able to access the service if they want to. So I think identity verification uh, is becoming more and more important. So you, governments have stood up and uh, have realized that access to governmental and uh, public services, you need access to that. And with more and more remote people working, living, traveling, uh, you won't always be able to see them in person. And with you know, branches closing and more and more digital services coming on board, more mobile banking particularly, um, the need in order to have verified identity of these people, as I said, with no racial bias and no and any opportunity from anywhere in the world to be able to access those services. So I think what you're seeing is a lot of different businesses trying to help customers to verify identity. What will happen is the user will start to want to take control of their own identity because identity is going to be needed to access everything from buying a home to potentially a dating app to your bank account, right? And so with the mobile being the pass, the face and biometric identity is going to be the access point for people to get to these services. So I think people will want more control and I think we'll see some consolidation probably of services across the, air, uh, across the industry. Uh, but I think it will continue to innovate and use the current technology like machine learning and AI um, and neural networks which we utilize to be able to give that scale and cover those documents. I think more and more services will be used in the cloud and more and more machine learning services will be used to get more coverage and, and offer access to more people. You know, we want to be global. As I said, our mission is to really help anybody from any country of any identity to be able to access the services that they want uh, where, where, wherever they are. So we want to make sure that we serve as many customers as many countries as possible in a fully automated way to cut costs and fraud from their business while giving users the best opportunity to go through a process as easily as possible but also to get access safely and securely and know that their 
data and their rights are protected when they are accessing those services. So all we do, we plan to do is offer this to more and more countries and more and more businesses across the world.